In most cases, or in some cases at least, you may find that neither the centralized model or the decentralized model makes total sense to you. You may need to blend these two together into a hybrid model. As the name indicates, it's a combination of both centralized and decentralized models. Whenever you have some data or some resources that need to be more tightly secured than others, a hybrid model may work well. Take all of your objects that you need to secure, put them under the constraint of your centralized authentication mechanism, and use centralized authentication for these resources. For example, you may want to take very sensitive files, push them up to the centralized machine that requires that you must authenticate through the central authority. Another example, a database. Databases tend to be centrally located due to the design of the database, and the idea is that multiple users access the same data repository, so that may be another good example where your database would be under the central authentication strategy. On the other end, you may have local files that don't require such a high degree of security, and you can push those out to different domains, different security domains, and allow the decentralized authentication mechanism to access those files.